Hi, I'm Gardner Scott. Join me today as I show you how to add a simple water fountain to your garden. Just about everyone likes the sound of water in a garden. It's calming and soothing. It benefits us, and it can also benefit the insects, the birds, and the wildlife in your garden. This simple fountain project begins with just a galvanized bucket. We started by putting a couple bricks in the bottom. This is just a couple cedar fence posts that we attach together and we drilled a hole in the bottom. This rests on the top. That hole is for the tube coming from the pump and the water will pump out of here. We'll surround this with a couple rocks just to help disguise the tube and add a little more rustic feel to it. You can put as many rocks as you want. We'll start with these few, but by the end of the summer, we've got a lot more rocks, and even a garden gnome or two sometimes pops up. We'll add more bricks. And then we'll get the pump and put the pump in place. The pump is an electric pump designed for ponds or aquariums and it actually costs less than $10. I'll put the link below so you can see which ones we chose. It actually has a little adjustable knob so you can control the rate of flow. I just stick the tube from underneath through the hole and then put a rock on top just to disguise the tube. The cord also goes underneath the boards to the back side, and so you'll need an electrical source to plug into. Once the plug's in place, you want to fill the tub with water. You don't want to run the pump unless it is fully submerged. It could damage it otherwise. But once you've got water in the tank and the pump is covered, you can plug it in and that will turn it on. The water should start flowing right away from the pump. You can control how the water flows just by moving the rocks around until you get the type of flow that is pleasing to you. The reason we have the bricks in the middle is because we like to add a ceramic saucer underneath. When this fills, birds can rest on the wood or they can rest on the side of this small plate for a bath or a drink. And there you have it. A simple project, doesn't take much time, doesn't take much money, and it'll benefit your garden. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already, and if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. I'm Gardener Scott. Enjoy gardening.